my name is Kat, and today I want to talk about why I like to finish books and series. So sometimes I buy multiple books in a series before I've even read the first book in that series, and I always get asked why I do that. What if I don't like the first one, and then I just have all these books? What am I doing? Well, first of all, I am actually really picky about what books I buy and read. I know I purchase a lot of books, but I do a lot of research for each book before I buy it. If I do buy several books of a series without yet starting the series, I do so for several reasons. For example, I purchased the first eight books of the Morganville Vampire series in four bind-up versions for about $20 total. I like the premise, I like vampire urban fantasy series, all good stuff there. I did read a sample of the first book online to make sure I enjoyed the writing style enough to read through eight books like that. I had heard many good things about it from other people, it had been recommended to me a couple of times. And and finally, the price. It was $20 for those four bind-ups of eight novels. It was just unbeatable. So I have these eight novels in the series even though I haven't even read the first one, but that doesn't worry me because I'm pretty sure that when I do get around to reading this, and believe me, I will read this, I will enjoy it. My next point is that I am a finisher. I am compelled to finish books that I start, and also series, though to a slightly lesser degree. I know there are some people who, if they're not hooked by like page 50 or page 100, they put the book away. They, they're done with it. Even if I'm not necessarily feeling a book and enjoying it in the beginning, most of the time, if not all of the time, I will push through and finish that book anyways. And there are two main reasons for this. One is from a reader point of view, and one is from a writer point of view. From a reader's point of view, I want to finish a story to experience the story as a whole. I want that complete story arc. I want to see the beginning, the middle, and the end, and how it all comes together. I've already invested time and energy into this book, so I want the payoff of the ending of the book. And then I also have a writer's point of view. I learn from every single book I read, good, bad, ugly, I will learn something from it and find value from that. The good books I study for what makes them good, what is working, and the bad books I study for what makes them bad, what did the author do wrong that makes me dislike this book. That is actually the primary reason why I finish books and finish series, because I learn from them, even if they are bad, even if they are terribly written and poorly plotted, I still find value in them in the fact that I'm learning what not to do in a book. As long as I'm getting value for my time and effort invested, then I am satisfied with that. I'm happy about that. Even books that I've wanted to throw across the room, I make a mental note about what makes me want to throw them across the room, but I don't throw them. I keep reading or I do throw them, and then I pick them up and keep reading. Series are a little bit different. If it's a really, truly terrible first book, then I will not continue the series because, you know, there are so many amazing good books out there, why would I spend even more time on something that I dislike? You know, I've already learned from the first book what not to do. I don't need to read the rest of the series. Even if I purchased more books in the series, which has not happened yet, because like I said, I'm picky about what I buy, but if it's a good book, or even just a sort of mediocre book, then I usually will finish that series, or at least aim to, because there are many, many books, and I can't read all of them. I want to, but I can't. Just can't. One person. I need a time turner. So yeah, those are my thoughts on finishing books and series, and I would love to hear your opinion. Are you a book and or series finisher, and why or why not? That is everything I wanted to talk about in this vlog today, so thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will have another video up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye! <laughs>